right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, just back at you again with another lesson. And as always, my prayers and hopes, you know, to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that the Lord's hopeful elect, you know, would be edified, man. You know? And uh, continuing to keep building upon, you know, this Lord's spiritual house, which is really the tabernacle of David. Because that's what's happening. The tabernacle of David, men of the Lord, okay, is, is being ri ri risen up. All right? Risen up back in their lot. You know, to fulfill prophecy. <clears throat> you know? So, um, I'm just reading this book, uh, Isaiah, the 34th chapter. And I got down to the uh, last two verses. And um, I'm going to just start off there. This is Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord, and read... No one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate, for my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. Alright, and that speaks a lot, because we're truly living in a time of prophecy. You know, this Bible, first off, let me break the first thing down. This is, seek ye out of the book of the Lord. What is the book of the Lord? The book of the Lord is the Bible, man. Okay, and we prefer using the King James Version. Right? There's many different versions out there because of the devil. Esau, you know, he wants to, you know, rewrite Bibles and, you know, remix words and use new words. Like, you know, he calls his, his, uh, his, new, his new found speech to be new speak, new speech, you know, and he uses words and changes words of the, of the, of the ancient text, you know, so that, you know, he can uh, control the narrative of the scriptures. You know, and control, you know, uh, what it is that the Bible speaks of. Because he knows how powerful the word of the Lord is. Even these Edomites know that this is the word of the Lord, the Heavenly Father. And, they, and, ev and everyone that has any sense, they know that there's no other book that can actually uh, be remade. You know, that inspires, that motivates, that actually gives history, you know, facts, man. Okay, and also be prophetic, you know, speak things before it happens. No other book can do that. Not one of your smartest computers can actually do that. With all this new AI intelligence and, you know, robots, none of these, uh, you know, you know, robots can uh, make, make the Bible, man. Okay, and actually go off of and for it to be true. Because what we actually living in, okay, is the Lord's movie. So everything that presents itself and manifests itself, we know that the, the Heavenly Father ordained it to be. All right? So if a robot and intelligence, you know, and, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, if all these things that we see today and we have is because the Heavenly Father allowed it. So anyway, it says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. And notice the word Lord is in all caps. And that represents the Heavenly Father, which his name is Yahweh. Okay, so it says, seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read. So guess what? There's a specific book, you know, in order to understand, well, in order to uh, to to uh, to get the, the true understanding, you know, because there's many books out there. And that's why we tell you that the book is the Bible, man. And like we prefer, which is the King James Version, okay, with the Apocrypha. You know, the Apocrypha is a, is a is part of the Bible, you know, in which Esau, I think it was with his Bible destruction group, that went in and took books out of the Bible and hid it. That's why they call it, what, the Apocrypha, man. You know, because when you read the Apocrypha, you read in history, okay, and you read in, you know, what's going to happen in the future, and you know through the, through the Apocrypha, that who the Lord is is actually gonna destroy, man. You know, even the Bible speaks the same, but the Apocrypha really gets into it and tells you uh, uh, straight up, you know, who the Lord hates. Okay, which is you Edomites, man. You know, 
You know, it speaks about Alexander the Great, in which Esau likes to pr uh, pride himself around. You know, it gets all into it, man. So, let me, um, it says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. You know, it says, Read. You know, uh, what's that? Revelations, the first chapter. It says, uh, uh, bless, uh, Blessed he that readeth. All right, because if you're an Israelite, because that's the only way you're going to understand. First off, in, in steps of understanding, you have to be an Israelite. You know, the Lord is a separate. The Lord is only dealing with his people. Okay, he has only, it's telling you, man, what's that, Amos 3 and 1? Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Amos 3 and 1, you know, it says I'm quoting these scriptures. It says, hear the word of the Lord. It says, hear this word that the Lord have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So the Heavenly Father has only known, okay, and only chosen the Israelites. And who are the Israelites? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, man. All right, you West Indians, so-called Haitians, you are all Israelites. All right, from the seed of your father, you are an Israelite, whether you like it or not. All right. So going back, Isaiah 34, 16, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. All right, because you got to read in order to understand and you have to be taught by, by an anointed teacher. OK, to give you that that understanding, to break down the dark parables, man, to teach you how to understand the scriptures. You know, there's a process, man. You know, and guess what? This book is truly based around faith. So if you're not a believer in the Lord, you don't even have a chance. You're not in the race. OK, <laughs> you're not in the race. So guess what? Ephesians 2 and 8 says faith is a gift. So that just lets a man of understanding know that if you don't have got faith, the most high ain't give you the gift. Okay? He ain't give you the gift, man. Because that's what this is all about. It's having the gift of faith, man. And you how about Shemel Shai and enduring. And enduring it all the way to the end. Alright? Not being ashamed of the Lord. So it says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. Now, what's not going to fail? The prophecies, man. Not one of these prophecies is going to fail. Everything that the Heavenly Father has said is going to come to pass, man. It's going to come to pass. And everything that has happened already has came to pass, as the scriptures prophesied about. Okay? And the great prophecy, and the great, well, the great prophecy that we're on to now is the gathering of the Israelites and the deliverance of the Israelites and the destruction of the wicked. Okay? You know, there's a prophecy which other Hebrew Israelite groups don't like to get into, but the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. It's evident now. You know? God should be teaching that. Because guess what? We're coming into that age and that period, okay, that Esau is going to force this RFID microchip. You know, and, and, and now, you know, your, your uh, concern should be, well, what did the Lord say about it? What did the Lord say about RFID microchips, radio frequency identification chips? What did the Lord say about it? All right. Because if this book is true, the Most High spoke everything that will be in existence today, man, that we need to know. OK, anything that we don't need to know, then we don't need to know. But the Lord gave us everything that we need to know. All right, because <clears throat> other than that, it's not our concern. All right. So, what did the Lord say about RFID chips? Well, He spoke about it in in, uh, in uh, uh, Revelations, what's that, thirteen sixteen? He calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or their foreheads. All right. That's the mark of the beast. That's the RFID chip. So it says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her. None shall want her mate. All right, because there's no other book, okay, that can mate itself toward the scriptures. The Quran cannot add itself to the scriptures. Okay, the Bible does not talk about the Quran, but the Quran talks about the Bible because the Quran mentions the Torah. The Torah is the law. Okay, the first five books, of Moses, man. All right, and. 
So you see that the Quran claims the Bible, but the Bible doesn't claim the Quran. So with guys with that type of philosophy that's out here talking about the Bible and the Quran is one that is a lie. All right. We call upon Yahweh. They call upon Allah. Allah is a Hebrew word that just means power. OK, that's entitled. OK, matter of fact, we all uh, uh, Allah, you know, because we are a source of power, man. But under the rule of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So anyway, it says, um, None shall want her mate, for my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. So the Lord, at his mouth, he said, At my mouth, okay, he hath commanded. So who can come against the Most High? Who can utter anything against the Lord? You know, you can't, you can't say the Lord was in error, okay? You can't say the Lord wasn't right. The Lord hath commanded, and it says, and his spirit, it hath gathered them. Meaning his, his spirit, Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit Holy. Okay, he hath gathered them through his spirit, which is of him, Yahweh, and his son. Okay, which is the begotten son, the only begotten son of the Most High, which is the first spirit created. And his name is Yahweh Shai, not Jesus Christ. All right, and his spirit hath gathered them. And what did he gather? He gathered the elect. All right. And now you see brothers around the world teaching this truth. And these Edomites are super mad, man. Big mad. All right. My phone is going to die. So I'm going to read this last verse. It says, And he hath cast the lot for them, and his hand hath divided it unto them by line. They, uh, they shall possess it forever. From generation to generation shall they dwell therein. All right. So breaking that down, it says, He hath cast them he have cast the lot for them. All right? So all our steps are written. He have cast our lots for us, man. Okay? If you a prophet, you're going to come back in your lot. You a two-third, you're going to come back in your lot. You the sons of the wicked, which is Esau, you're going to come back in your lot. But he's talking about here the Israelites, man, in particular the prophets, man. It says, and he have cast them lot. He has cast the lot for them, and his hand have divided it. Unto them by line and divided what? The, the scriptures. Okay? The scriptures, man. Here a little, there a little. All right? Meaning the men of the Lord, the prophets, were going to prophesy in their life when that time is right. Okay? So it says, and his hand hath divided it unto them by line. They shall possess it forever. Meaning we're going to have this word forever. We had it in the very beginning when the Most High created the elect, the first fruits, and they're going to have it now at the very end, which is the end of Esau's world. Because our world, which is Jacob. All right, I'm going to finish this off because that's Satan. I don't know what the hell. Come on, man. Anyway, it says, um, from generation to generation shall they dwell therein. Okay, so I hope this lesson we're edifying is very quick and it's uh, to the point. I hope, but I, more importantly, hope it's edifying. To those of the hopeful elect, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.